subscribe sa aking channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell button para palagi kayong updated sa ating mga videos. So ngayon po pag-usapan natin is tungkol sa rational inequalities. Continuation po ito ng ating lesson sa MOE about inequalities. So basically rational siya, ibig sabihin rational, fraction form. Maka-fraction siya. So how will we solve this? Let's try to solve this with this, this example. Okay, so sabi dito, 1 over x is greater or equal to 2. Guys, always, huwag natin kakalimutan, yung first step natin, mag-a-apply rin to all throughout. Di ba sa quadratic, dapat yung nasa right side, dapat equal to 0. Same din here. So, ngayon, yung 1 over x is greater or equal to 2, dapat ito maging 0. So, transpose natin yung 2 sa kabilang side. 1 over x minus 2 is greater or equal to 0. Now, we're done with the first step. Second step, guys, kailangan nating gawin tong isang term lang, isang term, isang rational term. Ibig sabihin, dapat i-add natin yung dal kasi dalawang terms to, ba? 1 over x tsaka minus 2. Ngayon, we need to add these two terms para maging isang rational term lang sila. So, adding that, LCD nila would be x kasi ba may 1 doon. 1 times x is x. x divided by x is 1 times 1, that's 1 x divided by 1 is x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Tama. Which is greater or equal to 0. Okay. Ngayon guys, we need to uh, next step. So, we're done with the second step. Nagawa na natin siyang isang rational term. Ngayon, kailangan natin i- Equate. So, meron tayong basically numerator tsaka denominator. I-equate natin yung numerator sa 0. 1 minus 2x. Equate natin yan sa 0. Same here sa denominator niya. x is equal to 0. Kasi, yung purpose natin dito is to find what, what value of x will make this expression equal to 0. And what number will make, what number, what value of x will make this equation undefined. Undefined, ibig sabihin, mag-undefined lang yan pag yung denominator mo is 0. So, anong value dapat ng x para maging 0? Yun, yun yung kailangan natin hanapin. So, equating that, we can now solve for x. That's negative 2x is equals to negative 1 divided by negative 2 divided by negative 2. The value of our x is 1 half. And the value of another x is 0. Okay, after we have find the values of x, then ipaplot na natin yan sa ating number line. First is 1 half. x is equals to 1 half. 1 half is along this line here. Okay guys, tanong. Anong ilalagay natin? Shaded circle or circle na walang shade? Yung ilalagay natin na dyan, guys is shaded circle. Bakit? Kasi kung mapapansin natin, Pwede siyang maging equal that is greater or equal to 0. Pwede siya. However, dito, x is equals to 0. x is equals to 0 dito. Hindi siya shaded circle. Kasi, kapag yung value ng x natin ay 0, magiging undefined siya, ba? Magiging undefined siya. Ibig sabihin, kung undefined yung, dinamin, yung, undefined yung inequality, hindi imposible it will never happen, hindi magiging part siya ng uh, inequality natin. So, we're done with this. Step 3. Step 4, gaya ng ginawa natin sa quadratic equation, gagawa tayo ng uh, borderline. So, dito, may borderline dyan. Borderline. Dito, may borderline din dyan. Okay? Yun, may borderline. So, basically guys, nakabuo na ulit tayo ng tatlong regions. Ito, yung part na to, this we will we name this as region 1. This part, we name that as region 2. And this part, we name this as region 3. Okay guys, so this time, it's our task now to assess kung nasatisfy ba ng re kung saan region dito nagsatisfy ng ating inequality. And doing that, um, meron tayong two different methods na pwede natin gamitin. Yung unang method is yung ginamit natin sa ating first uh, problem about sa quadratic equation. Let's try solving first using that uh, method. 
Una, kailangan natin isulat yung ito, yung ating inequality. That is 1 minus 2x over x is greater or equal to 0. Let's test first region 1. Magsis, mag, kukuha tayo ng value dito sa region 1 na pwede natin substitute So, getting a value in region 1, I will choose negative 1 para mas madali, no? That will be 1 minus 2. 2 times negative 1, ito, 2, 2 times negative 1 would be equal to uh, negative 2 over x which is negative 1 is greater or equal to 0. Simplifying that, 1 over negative 1 is greater or equal to 0. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3 is greater or equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, yung region 1 natin, hindi siya nag-satisfy. Which means, region 1 is not a solution set. Alright? So, let's try evaluating region 2. Okay, region 2 naman tayo. Region... Okay, let's try evaluating region 2, guys. Dito sa region 2, ang values niyan, uh, magsiset tayo. Magsiset tayo ng value from uh, here, 0. Hindi included yung 0 hanggang 1 half. So, siguro I will choose 1 half. 1 half, kasi included naman yung 1 half eh. So, I will choose 1 half as my value. That would be 1 minus 2 times 1 half is greater or equal to 0 over... Uh, x, or the value of x is 1 half. Okay. So, ngayon, i-expand natin yan. 1, 2 times 1 half is 1. Right? 2 times 1 half is 1. Tama. Over 1 half. That is greater or equal to 0. 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is basically 0. 0 divided by 1 half. Any, 0 divided by any number would yield... To 0. So, 0 is greater or equal to 0. Ta tama ba? 0 is greater or equal to 0. Tama. 0 is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, region 2, yung region 2 natin ito, na-satisfy niya yung solution set. Okay? Try natin yung region 3. Region 3. Region 3 natin, uh, magsasubstitute ulit tayo ng, magsasubstitute ulit tayo ng certain number. Uh, siguro 1. 1 yung pinakamadali natin. So, that would be 1. Ito. 1 minus 2 times 1 is greater or equal to 0. Over 1. 1 minus, 1 minus 2 over 1 is greater or equal to 0. 1 minus 2, guys, is uh, negative 1. Tama. Negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1 which is greater or equal to 0. Tama ba? Negative 1 is greater or equal to 0. Mali. Kasi negative 1 is less than. So, ito, region 3 is not, region 3 is also not um, solution set. So, basically, yung region 2 lang yung solution set niyan. So, writing that, ang ating final answer, guys, in interval notation, that would be 0. Yan, 0, guys. Parenthesis, kasi hindi included yung 0. Kama, that would be 1 half, 1 and a half, in bracket kasi included yung one half. So, this is our final answer. Okay, guys. Uh, I will show you also a second method on pa kung paano to isolve. Meron, I, I, let's name this second method the table method. Oh, siguro, table method. Gagawa tayo ng table. Table method. I don't know if it would be an easier way for you, pero at least my choices ka of how you will solve it. So first, gagawa tayo ng table ng mga regions. Ito, mga regions yan. Mga regions. Okay, regions. Meron tayong region region 1, region 2, meron din tayong region 3. Tatlong region yan. Then now, hahatiin natin itong mga region. Yun. 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 Tatlong region. Tapos, sa baba, dito, gagawa tayo ng mga ilalagay natin yung initial, di ba yung initial equation natin is over, uh, is 1 minus 1 minus 2x over x is greater or equal to 0. Ito yung ano guys, so, 
Don't erase pala to. Okay. So, yan. Given yan, no? Now, natin yung mga factors dito sa mga parts na to. So, isusulat natin dito yung 1 minus 2x. Then, sa baba, isusulatin natin yung x. Now, gagawa tayo dyan ng straight line. Conward is straight. Yan. Tapos dito, sa baba, ilalagay natin yung buong 1 minus 2x over x. The purpose of this method is i-figure out natin kung ano yung magiging sign nito kapag magsasubstitute tayo ng value ng value sa region 1. Okay. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is anong sign. We don't need the exact value but the sign. It's either positive or negative. Okay. So, let's let's solve it na. Okay. Solve natin. First, sa region 1. Magsasubstitute tayo ng value dito sa region 1 sa mga values na to. So, I choose, what I choose is negative 1. It's the easiest way. No. Substitute. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, I will substitute negative 1. So, kapag nag-substitute ako dito ng negative 1, negative 1 times negative 2, that would be equal to positive 2. Positive 2 plus 3 is positive 3. So, may sabihin, ito, positive yan. Okay, I will substitute negative 1 here. Negative 1, substitute ko sa x, ito, magiging negative yan. Okay, now, next, dito naman tayo sa art, sa second region. Sa second region, kuha lang tayo ng value. I will choose the value 1 half. Okay, kasi dito yan, 1 half. Okay, I will substitute 1 half here. 1 half times 2 is 1. 1 times 1 minus 1 is 0. Ibig sabihin, 0 siya. Now, next, 1 half substitute ko dito, ito magiging positive. Gets? Okay, next. Dito naman tayo sa region 3. Sa region 3, kuha tayo ng value. I will choose 1 kasi yun yung pinakamadali may simplify. Itong 1, isa substitute natin dito. 1 times 2 is uh, 2 and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Ibig sabihin, magiging negative yan. 1, I will substitute ulit here. That would be positive. Okay, after that, Ito, yung sa taas daw, i-divide mo sa baba. So, in division of uh, signs, kung equal yung sign, it will yield to a positive. Kapag hindi sila parehas, it will yield to negative. So, dito, positive times negative, positive divided by negative is negative. Ito, 0 divided by a positive number is equals to 0. Alright? 0 yan. Ito, negative, tapos i-divide mo sa positive, ito magigil yan sa negative. Okay guys, look. Ito na yung final na answers natin. Pero balik tayo dito sa initial sa problem natin. Sabi dito, ang value nito should be greater or equal to 0. When they say greater or equal to 0, ibig sabihin, ang values niya should be positive. Kasi that's greater than 0 eh. Should be positive or either 0 kasi equal 0. So saan dito yung positive? Dito sa last column natin. Kung mapapansin natin, wala. Pero meron to yung value ng 0 which is ito. Which means, ito lang yung nag-satisfy, ang region 2 lang yung nag-satisfy. And to write the final answer of the region 2, write that in interval notation, ganyan siya. Are you, I, I think, I, siguro nakukuha nyo naman siguro yung concept. We will try to solve another like this uh, next problem. Alright? Let's move on. Okay. Next problem. Sabi dito, first step natin, solve and graph the solution set of, ano, First step, okay na siya kasi yung zero, nasa, zero na yung nasa right side. So, what we need to do is just to evaluate this. Okay? It would be 1, my, one minus 2x over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. First step, na check na kasi nasa zero yung nasa right side. Second step, guys, is to equate natin yung nasa numerator sa yung nasa denominator into zero. So, that would be 1 minus 2x is equal to 0. So, solve and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Solve natin for x. That would be negative 2x is equal to 0. 0 plus, hindi, minus, sorry. So, that's minus 1. And that's negative 2x is equal to negative 1 over negative 2 over negative 2. Our value of x is positive 1 half. However, here, x is equal to positive 3. Okay. Ngayon, Second step, ilalagay na natin yung mga values na to dito sa ating number 9. So, 
Where is one half? One half is along this way. Okay, shaded ba siya or hole? Usually, pag yung inequate mo sa zero is nasa numerator, shaded. Shaded yan. Wait, uh, one half. Okay, guys, bakit shaded? Kasi it can be, it is less than or equal to zero. It can be equal. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng, pwedeng maging value yon yung one half. However, dito, x is three. Dito na. Magdo-drawing lang ako dyan ng whole. Bakit whole, guys? Kasi, 3, kapag isasubstitute natin dito, 3 minus 3, magiging undefined yan. Hindi yan impossible. Walang magiging value yan. Kasi nga, undefined. Undefined, which means, undefined yung kayo, yung nagsiselos ka, pero undefined naman kayo. Walang, hindi kayo, hindi kayo defined. <laughs> oh, alright. Let's continue. Okay, so since na ano natin yan, gawa na tayo ng borderline. Borderline. Tug, 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 tug. Gawa na tayo ng borderline. Tug, 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 tug. After natin nakagawa ng borderline, guys, the next thing to do is for us to uh, name the regions. Ito, I will name this region 1. I will name this region 2. I will name this region 3. Mas, parang mas madali ko ma... 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 ano, okay? So... We will try to solve this using the second method kasi para sa akin parang mas madali, no? So, i-erase muna natin to. Don't forget kung ano yung, ano, yung, yung simplified ito. Ito yung equation natin. Huwag natin kakalimutan to, guys. Ito, okay? Huwag natin i-erase yan. So, gawa tayo ng table. Yan. Tatlo yan. That would be region 1. Region 2, that would be region 3. Ito, tatlo rin to. This would be yung numerator niya. That would be 1 minus 2x. Yung denominator niya, x minus 3. Tsaka yung buo. That would be, that would be 1 minus 2x over x minus 3. Okay, solve na natin. Sa region 1, guys, sa region 1, magsiset tayo ng value kukuha tayo ng value sa region 1 na isasasigit natin. I will choose 0, siyempre, kasi yun yung pinakamadali. Excuse me. Ito, 0. So, 0 times 2 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, which means positive sign. Okay? Next, mag-substitute substitute ko ulit yung 0 dito. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 is a negative number, kaya negative to. Okay? Now, region 2 naman tayo. Dito sa region 2, ang pinakamadaling number na pwede kong makuha ay 1. So, I will choose 1. Substitute ko yung 1 dito. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 minus 2 is definitely negative 1. So, negative number to. Next, 1, isasubstitute ko dito. 1 minus 3 is a negative number. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So, negative din to. Okay. Region 3, maghahanap ako ng number dito. Siguro yung pinakamadali, ah... Uh, Let's say 4. Maybe 4. Okay, 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 minus 8 is negative 7. Ibig sabihin, negative number to. X minus 3. X minus 3, guys. That would be... Uh, 4 minus 3 is 1. Ibig sabihin, positive to. Okay, positive. Ngayon, guys. Ito, i-divide daw natin yung sign ng 1 minus 2x sa sign ng X minus 3. So, kapag din-divide natin yan, kapag same yan, it will yield positive. Kapag magkaiba sila, it will yield negative. So, positive divided by negative is sa negative. Pos negative divided by negative will yield positive. Negative divided by positive will yield negative. Okay. Nakuha na natin yan. Balik tayo sa ating inequality. Sabi niya, ang result daw nito should be less than or equal to zero. Less than or equal to zero, ibig sabihin yung values niya should be a negative number or equal to zero. So, dapat, yung sagot dito is negative. So, saan ba yung nag ng negative? Yung nag dito ng negative is region 1 in region 3. So, ito yung sagot. Gets? So, isusulat natin to using interval notation. Ang region 1 natin would be from negative infinity, comma, that to the parenthesis, negative infinity hanggang sa 1 half. 1 half, naka-bracket yan. Mag-union tayo. Union. Sorry. Yan. Union. Idadagdag natin. Next is region 3. Dito naman. 
Pero ito, parenthesis na, kasi whole yun eh, hindi kasama. Whole, ay, parenthesis, tapos 3, comma, hanggang positive infinity. So guys, this is our final answer for this problem. I hope na nagagrasp nyo na yung process ng table kasi parang mas, madal, mas mapapadali tayo makakasolve using this, ano, using this method. Okay, let's try more. Let's try more guys. Okay, ito. Solve and graph the solution of x plus 1 over x minus 1 which is less than x minus 1 over x plus 1. Kung sa, pag, sa pagtingin natin, medyo mahirap, no? Pero madali lang yan, guys. Okay, first step. Okay, remember, dapat yung right side always 0. So, transpose natin to sa kabila. So, that would be equal to x plus 1 over x minus 1. Ito, positive to, magiging negative pagpunta sa kabila. Minus x minus 1 over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Step 1, done. Next step is kailangan natin tong gawing isang rational term lang. Kasi dalawang term to eh. Isang term to, isang term. We need to subtract them out together para maging isang rational term sila. Yes. So, that would be equal to, ano yung LCD nila? LCD nila, I will multiply yung dalawang denominator. That would be x minus 1 and x plus 1. Okay, next x minus 1, or since I multiplied the denominators, um, most probably, yung, ano niya, I will just cross multiply it. So, x plus 1 times x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 squared minus x minus 1 times x minus 1, that's x minus 1 squared is less than or equal to 0. Okay, so natin yan. Expand natin yung mga equations na to. That would be, Using uh, binomi uh, binomial theorem, x squared plus 2x plus 2 minus x squared minus 2x plus 2 over x pl minus 1, x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, i-distribute natin yung negative sign. That would be x squared plus 2x plus 2 minus x squared plus, kasi negative times negative, plus 2x, negative times positive, negative 2. Okay, that would be over x minus 1 and x plus 1, less than or equal to 0. Ngayon, let's add like terms. x squared, magka-cancel siya sa negative x squared. Positive 2, magka-cancel siya sa negative 2. Ibig sabihin, yung matitira lang is 2x plus 2x 2x, which is equals to 4x over x minus 1 and x plus 1. That is less than or equal to 0. So, ito na yung simplest form na pwede nating makuha. So, from here, ito na yung gagamitin natin to uh, evaluate the next step. So, uh, what, what we need to do here, teka lang, delete ko muna para makita nyo. Okay, tanggalin ko muna to guys ah. Okay, akyat natin to. Alright, yun. So, the next step to do here guys is i-equate ulit natin yung mga factors niya equal to 0. So, that would be 4x equal to 0. So, finding x, x is 0. Okay, yung mga ito naman, that would be x minus 1. <coughs> Excuse me, equals 0, x basically is 1. x plus 1 equals 0, basically x is equals to negative 1. So, meron tayong tatlong values ng x. So, hahanapin ulit natin yung mga values ng x na to dito sa number line. Okay. So, numerator that is equals to 0 dito siya. Okay, is it shaded or not? It is shaded. Bakit? Kasi it is, nakikita niyo yung sign na to? Kapag walang underline sa baba niyan, walang shade yan. Pero kapag may underline, may shade yan. Gets? Ayan. Next is x is equal to 1, positive 1. Dito siya. Now, our challenge here is that uh, uh, shaded ba to o hindi? Basically, guys, hindi. Kapag mga factor sa denominator yung in-equate mo sa 0, hindi yan talaga equal sa 0. Hindi yan 
uh, ano tawag doon? Hindi yan shaded. Bakit? Kasi nga sabi natin, kapag mag -e, paglalagay ko dito ng value ng 1, no? 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times here, 0. Yung denominator mo, magiging 0. Any number divided by 0 is undefined. Undefined, ibig sabihin, wala, hindi pwede. Imposible, hindi yan magiging value. That's impossible. Katulad nito, sa negative 1 rin yan. Okay, gets? So, once na ano natin yan, gawa ulit tayo ng division. Yan, parang hinati natin. Tug, 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 tug. Tug, 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 tug. Okay guys, now, dahil dyan, nakabuo na tayo ng apat, apat na region na ngayon, apat na region na, meron tayong R1, region 2, region 3, region 3, and region 4. Okay, so, isosolve na natin ngayon kung saan sa mga regions na to, yung, yung solution set ng inequality. So, we will do the, old, the, the shortcut way. Pero kung gusto niyo yung mas mahaba, yung naturo ko sa quadratic equations, well, it, okay lang naman. Uh, it will take a little longer, but uh, at least it's also good. Okay? So, isolve na natin yan. Let's, anong gusto niyo yung kulay? I like ito. Okay? So, gaga ulit tayo ng table dyan, guys. Table. Table. Tapos. Ito. Pang R1. Pang R2. Pang R3. R4 Okay Ito R1 R2 R3 R4 Ito It would be 4x Ito X minus 1 Ito uh, X plus 1 X plus 1 Okay So solve na natin Okay dito sa region 1 Kumuha tayo ng kahit anong value dito. Siguro, I will choose negative 2 kasi yun naman yung pinaka, pinaka maliit para mas madali ma-evaluate. Negative 2. Negative 2 times 4 is basically negative 8. Tama? Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Wait. It's negative. Yung sign lang. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Now, next. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Ibig sabihin, negative rin to. Next. Negative 2 minus negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, which means negative rin to. Okay, region 2 tayo. Dito sa region 2, I can choose 0 kasi included yung 0. So, I will choose 0 na lang. 0 times 4 is 0 times 4, guys, is 0. Okay, next. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, negative to. 0 plus 1 is, ano guys? Positive sign. Pass dyan. Okay, Region 3 naman tayo. Sa region 3, I can also choose 0 kasi kasama yun sa region 3. So, ibig sabihin, kung 0 yan, it will yield the same answer. Yan, 0 yan. Negative rin yan. Positive rin yan. Okay, dito tayo sa region 4. Sa region 4, maybe I will choose positive 2 kasi yun yung pinakamadali. So, 2 times 4 is positive 8. 2 minus 1 is 1. Positive, positive 1. 2 plus 1 is positive 3. So, that would be equal to positive. Okay, ngayon guys, i-evaluate na natin yung buong equation. Sabi kasi dito, that would be equal to 4x over x minus 1 times x plus 1. So, 4x, that would be negative over negative times negative. Negative, negative over times negative is positive. So, negative over positive, yung final sign nito is negative. Okay, dito. 0 yan. 0 over negative. Tapos, magiging times positive. 0 divided by any number. Walang sign yan. Magiging 0. Same as here. So, 0, negative, positive. Ito, magiging 0 din yan. Sa kabila, that would be positive over positive over positive. Plus, 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 plus. Lahat yan. Yung final answer na is plus. Okay, balik tayo dito sa ating inequality. Sabi niya, ang inequality, ito raw, should be less than or equal to zero. When we say less than or equal to zero, ibig sabihin, yung value niya should be a negative number or should be a negative number or equal to zero. Gets? Should be a negative number or equal to zero. So, kung ano yung nagsatisfy dito, ang nagsatisfy dyan is ito, ito, Tsaka ito. So, we have three. We have three regions that has satisfied. So, 
Yung ito, yung region na to. Region 1, 2, and 3. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, pwede nating mapag-isa yung region 1 and region 3. So, gawin na lang natin isang interval yan para hindi mahaba. Pero kung gusto nyo, pwede rin naman. Pero for me, I prefer it 1. Okay, so, so region 1, let's write that interval notation. That would be equal to, from the leftmost side, that's negative infinity. Negative infinity, parenthesis. Tapos comma, uh, negative 1. Negative 1, tapos parenthesis yan. Kasi hindi inclusive yung negative 1. Next, gagamit tayo ng union. Mag-union yan. Mag-union, tapos negative 1 ulit. Negative 1, kama, hanggang sa positive 1. Positive 1, parenthesis rin yan. So guys, ito po ang ating final answer. Okay guys. So ngayon, uh, magsusolve na naman ulit tayo. It's a uh, more complicated problem pero I think kaya natin to. First step is dapat 0 yung nasa pinaka right. Tama, 0 yung nasa pinaka right. Ngayon, what we need to do next is to find out, to find out, kailangan natin alamin, i-factor out natin yung mga to para mas masimplify siya. Pwede tayong makapag-cancel ng mga factors at mas mapadali yung buhay natin. <clears throat> okay. So, una, factor natin yung taas. Yung factor yung taas na yan, mapapansin nyo, 6. Okay, 6. Ano yung factors ng 6 na pag pinag-add mo is negative 5. And I will choose negative 3 and negative 2. Gets? Alright. Next, sa baba naman, i-factor out natin yung x. Kasi lahat sila may greatest, greatest common factor which is x. And I will put it outside, and it will be x squared plus x minus six. It should be greater than. It should be greater than zero. So guys, basically, when we look at this equation, ito pwede pa natin tong mga factor. So that would be x minus three over times x minus two. If factor out natin to, it would be x. Ano ba yung factors ng negative six? Na kapag pinag-add mo, magiging one. That would be negative six. So negative six. I think that would be positive three and negative two. Tama, tama. Negative two, tama. If you add that, it would be greater equal to zero. Greater, greater than zero. Okay. We can now cancel things. So niyong pwede natin i cancel. Ito x minus two. Pwede natin i cancel dito. So yung matitira guys is x minus three over x. Times x plus three is greater than zero. So ngayon, meron na tayong values ng pwede natin mahanap yung values ng x. Next is equate natin numerator equal to zero. That would be equal to x is positive three. Equate natin yung nasa baba. That would also be x equal to zero and x plus three equal to zero. X is equal to negative three. So solving that. The next step is to plot ulit natin to sa ating line diagram, line number line. Sorry, number line. Plot natin yan. First is where is negative, where is positive three. Dito, three whole sya. Okay, bakit sya whole guys? Kasi wala syang underline dito. Okay, so whole lang sya. Hindi sya magiiqual sa di sya hindi po yung value yung three. Next is x is equal to zero. X is equal to zero. Nandito yun. Whole din yun. Kasi undefined nga, di ba? Pag ilalagay natin yung 0 dito, magiging undefined yan. Hindi pwede magiging value yung 0. Next is negative 3. Yan. Hold it yan, guys. It will follow. Alright. So, gawa tayo ng borderline. Borderline. Tug, 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 tug. Okay, guys. So, let me just erase this para may space tayo na makagawa ng ating table. Okay? Kaya lang, ah. Wait, let me just erase this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, ito. We'll move that here. Kasi kakailangan natin yan. Okay, ulit. Gagawa tayo ng mahiwagang table. Okay, table yan. So, before else pala, ibig sabihin, meron tayong apat na region. R1, R2, R3, R4. Okay, gawa tayo dyan ng June 1. It will be 
4, tapos, ilang ano, kung ilan yung factors, yun, yun rin yung bilang. 1, 2, 3. Okay, 3. Sorry. Excuse me. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, isulat na natin yung mga values dyan. Yung mga values dyan, ito, R1, R2, R3, R4, ito guys, X minus 3, ito, X, ito, X plus 3, ito, yung buo, X minus 3 over X, X plus 3. Okay, so solve na natin. Dito sa region 1, kukuha ulit tayo ng value na pwede na substitute Okay, let's try for say, I will choose negative 4 kasi parang yun yung pinakamabilis, no? negative 4. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Ibig sabihin, yung sign nito, that would be negative. Next, negative 4, ilalagay ko dito, yung x, magiging negative yan. Okay? Negative 4 plus 3 will be equal to negative 1. Ibig sabihin, negative sign pa rin to. Okay, region 2 naman tayo. Sa region 2, I will choose negative 1 para mas madaling substitute Okay? Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So, ibig sabihin, negative rin yan. Negative 1, substitute ko dito, magiging negative yan. Negative 1, sa substitute ko, negative 1 plus 3 is equal to positive 2. So, this would be equal to positive. Okay, next. R3 natin. I will choose 1. 1 ulit yung pinakabilis. 1 minus 3 is equal to uh, negative number. So, subtraction pa rin yan. 1, ilalagay ko dito, magiging positive yan. Okay? 1, ilalagay ko siya dito. 1 plus 3 is positive 4. Ibig sabihin, magiging positive yan. Okay, 4. I will choose the number 5. Let's choose number 5. Okay. 5 minus 3 is 2. Is 5 minus 3 is, pa is positive 2. Ibig sabihin, positive yan. 5, substitute ko dito, magiging positive yan. 5 plus 3, magiging positive rin yan. Okay, guys. Now, let's evaluate na kung ano yung final na sign. Using this formula, ito, negative over negative tapos negative. Negative is negative. Ibig sabihin, negative times negative is positive. Negative divided by positive is negative divided by positive is negative. Okay. Ito, negative over negative tapos positive. It does, negative times positive is negative. Negative divided by negative. Ito, magiging positive. Okay. Negative over positive times positive. That would be still equal to negative. And lastly, would be positive over positive times positive. Final answer is positive. Okay. Balik tayo sa ating uh, balik tayo sa ating uh, inequality. Sabi niya, ang value nito should be greater than zero. Ibig sabihin, it should be a positive number. So, alin dito yung mga positive number, guys? Kung mapansin natin, yung mga positive number is ito lang. Here, region 2 and region 4. So basically, yung region 2 and region 4, ito lang yung solution set ng ating inequality. So kailangan na natin isulat kung ano yung mga solution set na mga yan. Using interval notation, R2, our R, R raised to 2, yes, R region 2 is ito. Gagawa tayo ng parenthesis, negative 3, hindi yan naka-include, kama, hanggang 0, hindi yan rin yan naka-include. Union. Region 4. Region 4 na tayo. That would be equal to 3, comma, inf positive infinity. So, ito guys, this is our final answer. Please subscribe and like, share share our video, and good luck. Bye-bye, mga pare ko eh.